Alright guys, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I thought I'd just quickly shoot this one. Uh, been opening a lot of packages recently. This one is just in today from Japan. From Japan. Nothing particularly special in here, I don't think, but I thought you might like to see it. Ah, uh, yep. Know what this is? Oh. All right. Ooh. She's a bit dusty. Wow, now that is a rare bit of a broken thing there. I wonder if I can get a replacement one of those or a 3D printed one. Free you out of there, mate. So that is 9.6 volt turbo big rig. Um, you don't see too many of these around. It's just weird. Look at the suspension in here. Yeah, kind of like half cut suspension. It's a newer design, so it's got the heat sink. Heat sink on the back there. Tires, yeah, they're not too bad. There's some flat spots that they'll work themselves out. 9.6 volts, I wonder how this little thing will go. Suspension seems good. What's going on in here? Battery compartment looks good. Oh, it's four-wheel drive. You can see by the in the bit in the middle of the battery tray there. That must be where the drive shaft goes. Oh, I did not realise it was four-wheel drive. I need to start looking at my own website for the details. No radio control, but 20, 27 MHZ, I should be able to find something. Um, what was the other one? Oh, yeah. This seller just sold them both as a lot. So, I wasn't setting out to buy this, it just kind of came along for the ride. Jeez, oh, it smells like old. So, wow, yeah, this is hard as. So this is the Mini Hopper 3. And the thing that, that gets me about this one is, if you look on the, I'll put a picture up, if you look at the picture on the actual box for it, um, the spring is real on the front. But when you, you look at what you actually get, that ain't real. It's just a hunk of plastic. So somewhere along the line I've gone, uh, yeah, we can't make that real. Cheap bastards. Um, yeah, this one's seen better times. Mostly dusty, a little bit of cracking. Yeah, not too bad. So, <clears throat> one of the other things I got recently was this. So, um, got this one off eBay. This one off eBay a little while ago. Um, but, I got this one couple of days ago from Japan. As you can see, the guy has painted the wheels in this very pretty um, orange hue. Um, it does have the tire on the back. I just taken the tire off to figure out how I'm going to get the paint off. And I realized that he is actually on the inside. So he must have, he must have dyed it or dipped it in the paint or something. Um, I'm just going to try some paint cleaner first, uh, but I don't want to destroy the tyre, obviously. really hope I can get it off. Uh, but she's a beauty. Other than that, I'm missing the, the, the battery door, but yeah. Uh, other than that, she is near perfect. So I'm very happy with that one. Also picked up a whole bunch of uh, Super Bandits recently. 
Uh, it's the first Tycos that I've really had. Um, I didn't realize the whole bumper system comes down like that. Yeah, clicks on. Um, and if you take these these two screws out, this whole this whole part thing flops out. Um, the whole front end section. So it's kind of all this this just all holds it in there. Interesting design. Uh, it's basically. I don't know, it seems like a bandit to me with a different cover. It's twin, the Eliminator, which is the same thing. I think the Eliminator is the US version, uh, and the Super Bandit is the UK version. Somebody will correct me in nostalgia. I'll see, will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, if you haven't seen already, uh, I finished painting this a little while ago. She looks pretty good. I just got to put the stickers on. Haven't been filming much in the last three months because it's so damn cold here in Australia. Uh, I haven't been coming into my garage, um, but it's starting to warm up. So I'm getting some more videos out, some more uh, DIYs and, and whatnot. Finish up that one. And I got another one here. It's in. A really good nick, except it doesn't have the two front wheels. Somebody's used it as spares, I guess. But apart from that, it is really, really good condition. Um, just need to chuck those two front wheels on. I've got a spares car coming for that. So, uh, <clears throat> yep, that's about it. I'll give this guy a bit of a clean up and uh, test, and I'll get a video of uh, of how it test runs and let you guys know. Take care dudes, see you later.